you know, I'm, I'm 70 years old and this thing is going to just been built. Uh, this will be here probably a lot longer than I'm going to be around. And it's kind of nice to see something like that, uh, a positive uh, ecological system being installed that will outlive you. We live on the Craddock Creek here and uh, we were walking along our shoreline and we noticed that uh, a couple of major trees have fallen down over the winter. But the marsh itself was the other thing that really got our attention because as I have some pictures of you see the marsh toe where the marsh ends being undercut severely and uh, the, the marsh being up here and the sand down here with this rich soil underneath the, the marsh crashes being eaten away. This is erosion taking place even as we speak. And so uh, the thought was, uh, how can we stop this? Uh, because this literally was our property being washed away. And the idea behind a living shoreline is, is to build a barrier of some sort, like a rock wall, or in, in our case, we built it out of cinder blocks made called oyster, oyster castles. And you build this wall that has a couple openings in it and then fill in that area between the wall and the existing marsh with sand. Then plant the, mar the appropriate marsh grasses in that new sand. And the word that they use is it, the wave gets tripped as it goes over this little barrier. And you can see the wave action coming in on a day when you have some wind, wind blown waves and you know they're moderate size and they hit the wall in whatever level the tide is at the time and on inside in what i call the enclosure part uh, the waves are much more reduced and by the time they get to the marsh itself they're, they're not too bad and we have thanks to the cbf uh, nine to ten thousand living fertile oysters in our oyster castles. This whole process took about six months from conception to getting all the permitting done, getting all the parts ordered and everything else. It's not that hard to do. Um, the simple number of things that you need to buy. You need to have, in my opinion, uh, somebody who's experienced designing this and getting it through the proof process. The state has another plan, another uh, uh, program called uh, VCAP, the Virginia Conservation Assistance Program, specifically with uh, living shorelines. They are willing to cover 75% up to $15,000 of the cost of your program. But I'd really like to help other people who are thinking about this. Maybe you raising oysters for the Chesapeake Bay Foundation and you turn them every year and you have a little piece of land like this that maybe the marsh needs a little help. It's, it's not that hard and not that expensive, especially if the, if the government's gonna pay 75%.